Hello, Zero K fans! It's Chapter 3 with another exhibition match stream. We're gonna have first match gonna be Randy and Klon on Iceland. So Iceland is a fairly large map. We saw Klon starting out heavy tanks, by the way, in the west side of the map. Randy starting out with air in the east side of the map. Not surprising for a map this size. Anyway, we saw Klon and Silencer the other day, on Thursday, a couple or a match with him on Eye of Horus where it went to everything. Cloaky bot start and then it just went from there, and Klon particularly built Quite a few factories. Went into air, shields, tanks, all at once, and even built a nuke silo. Don't know what's going to happen this time. But Randy is going for a quick Raven start. He is also going for a recon com. I should point out, this is the most recent version of the game, so... The commanders are not as powerful as they once were. Energy is plus six. There are no E-cells. And as you can see, Clone is starting to build up some energy. Well, he's planning on energy, at least. But yeah, we have... Plus four metal, plus six energy for each commander. No E cells. And Randy coming in with a Raven. Might be scouting up for the commander. Possibly he's going to go for a metal extractor. At this point, metal extractor is the best bet, and that's exactly what he's going for. Taking out one of the metal extractors right away. Because there's no point trying to go for the commander unless you have three or four Ravens so you can kill it in one shot. Which is not the case. Randy only has the one. And that one Raven is going to. There it goes. That one Raven is going to go off and do its thing. Killing off what he can. Looks like he's... Randy is much more focused on getting his economy going. Getting his basic base built up. Not worried so much about getting a lot of units. Getting a crane as well very early on. While... Clone on the other hand... A couple of early welders. No early military of any sort. He does have copperheads coming up for defense. But he's not going for early Kodachi raids. He's just going for welders. Just to build up. And like I said. The map being the size it is. That makes a lot of sense. It's just... It's a fairly large map. I think it's about... 14 by 14 or so, I'd have to double check, but yeah, Iceland is not a map where raiding is the easiest thing to do. However, when you have ravens like this, it's not that hard. And the raven is going to be possibly damaging the welder. It will not kill the welder in one shot. Actually, it would take four ravens to kill a welder. Or no, three ravens, sorry, 1900 health. But yeah, three ravens would kill a welder. It looks like it's just going to go for another metal extractor, and... Nope, just scouting out. Metal extractors would make good targets, and there it goes. Like I said, one raven kills off metal extractors easily. Having three or four ravens would kill a commander, but I don't think Randy's going to worry about that. Because commanders are not the economic powerhouses they were for a few patches for about a month. There's not much point to comp sniping. There is obviously some point. I mean, it's build power, it's economy that can still be damaged, but... It's not... I don't know, compared to building up three shadows, like, sorry, ravens. 1200 metal right there, just to comp snipe. I mean, admittedly, after that point, there's a lot of metal you can take out, but... I don't know. And the copperhead actually looks like it's been cancelled. Oddly enough, Clone is not apparently building that. Nope, continuing to build up welders. He's... He does not have a copperhead. That's a little bit surprising. He does have some defenders up, which is going to be handy, but not the most useful. And Raven coming back around. Randy continues to go for harassment. He's building up the north side of the map. Getting quite a bit going. Both players have fairly even economy, though Randy does have an energy advantage, particularly from these new wind generators. Clone has not built a lot of power plants. His wind generators right now are starting to spin up a bit, but he doesn't have a lot of power plants. He is getting quite a few up here along the ridge in the north. Raven coming along the side will be able to spot this coming out, and is likely to go for this metal extractor once again. And Clone is now slightly behind. 15 metal, 2 to 17. Just now got 17, but it's going to go down to 15 once again as that metal extractor drops. And Randy continue to build up the north side, so Randy has been building up faster. He's basically using air entirely for that purpose. He is, however, getting a Klugibot factor at the center of the map, and that's probably going to be what he's attacking with primarily, rather than attacking with the Ravens. He's not actually built anything more than a couple cranes in the Ravens. It looks like... Well, direct Reaper switch. Not even going to go for Copperheads, just straight to Reaper. And I think... Clone might be a problem. <laughs> yes, El Torero notes. Screw the, screw the anti-air, I'll just destroy his base! Which... might work? He's got 30 seconds, okay, let's see, 30 seconds for the Klugabot factory, a minute and a half for the Reaper, so yeah, the Reaper is not going to win out in that particular exchange. Clone does not have a lot of metal coming into it. I mean, the Reaper itself would take about 85 seconds on its own, without assistance. But at this point, the Klugabot factory is going to be up first. And a couple Warriors are up as well, actually, that's not the best idea, the Warriors will be not too bad against the Reapers, but they will fall. A couple Warriors won't hold off Reaper. Rocco's would be a better idea. Probably Zeus would be... And not to be a risk idea. I mean, it's tough to get rid of a Reaper with Warriors. 
It's not to get rid of the Reaper with Cloakie Bots. Enough ticks, perhaps, to stun it out and then Zeus to keep it stun locked, but yeah, it's kind of tricky to get that in there. Anyway, a couple Warriors are coming up. Randy's not focusing too heavily on that. He is over going to get more ra 10 Ravens. Okay, now he's going for Comp Snipe. Possibly Broad Metal Snipe and maybe Reaper. He doesn't know about the Reaper, but he does know about Heavy Tanks. So going for single target bombers like that is not a bad idea. He's also trying to get rid of the Welder. Will take a couple more Ravens to do that, but he's getting them. So I see that Randy is definitely starting to get kind of aggressive over Clone. Has been expanding to the north a lot more a lot more keenly than Randy's been expanding on himself to the south. I mean, it's equivalent because of the way that mirroring is going, but... Yeah, Clone is taking basically the entire west side of the map at this point. Randy has not taken the whole east side. He is starting to, getting a couple cranes to do so, but he's behind economically. Despite the earlier harassment, Clone is pulling up economically. Not to mention reclaim, though I'm pretty sure both players are reclaiming pretty well, but... Looks like... No, primarily Clone is the one doing the reclaiming. Though I mean, like, Clone is reclaiming to deal with the energy situation rather than to deal with the metal situation. There's only trees. Trees only give energy, they do not give metal. But still, that's... that's something. And the Reaper has been completed. No... I don't know, further Reapers are coming. Actually, it's not an infinite build. Clone's gonna be just going between Welders and Reapers. So that first Reaper should be able to get through the Warriors, no problem. And... I mean, if Rockos come up, that could be a problem, but, like, Reapers are just tough. It takes a while to kill them. They're expensive, but they're tough, so trying to get rid of them can take a while. It can be kind of difficult. The Warriors are going to be able to deal a fair amount of damage, but... To a Reaper, that's maybe going to be one-sixth of its health, I think. Maybe within the lifespan. The Warriors are going to survive two volleys each. Assuming it hits. And actually... Yeah, I said, they're not bad for dealing damage. It's just getting hit is the problem. If that happens, which actually it's not. You know what? Warriors are not doing badly here. They are having to retreat, though, and still dodging the shots pretty well. That Reaper is not... Okay, now it's getting hits in. Now it's starting to get a bit lucky, and going to be able to finish off that one Warrior. The second Warrior is still alive. Still in the back. Not quite dead yet. Once that happens, though, it's... Well, it's more glaives. I mean, the thing is that Reapers don't have very good anti-unit weapons. They're very good against bases, they're not good against individual units. Which means that it's going to be a bit problematic. However, even with that, the Reaper can basically just tank through this, and if it destroys the Cloakabot factory, that's not going to go... It's going to be difficult. There is still the set of Ravens, though. A bunch of them are coming around the back. I think they might be going around to try to kill off Clone's commander. Certainly might be trying to kill off a bunch of this economy over the north, the south. And Randy... Looks like he's switching over to Heavy Reclaim. And actually, no, he's just switching out to Heavy Economy. He's actually managed to get an economic advantage. Getting the south side completely. That's going to help out quite a bit. However, these Reapers are going to be able to deal with the Glaze decently enough. But, like I said, their anti-unit potential is not particularly high. Now, if a Banisher were to be popping out, that would work out a lot better. But it doesn't look like Clone is going for Banishers. He is, however, going for Air, getting some Hawks and possibly Phoenixes. Phoenix is being probably the best option here, but yeah, it's going to be tough. And there it goes. Okay, this one welder is going down. Not even bothering with comp sniping, he's going for worker sniping instead. Losing a raven in the process, but that was definitely worth it. Even just for base cost, let alone build power. Just for the cost. 300 metal for 250 metal, not a bad trade. When you consider the fact that the build power is there and all that, that really evens it out. And Clone coming back in with the Reapers. He probably could get rid of the Stinger, no problem. I'm a bit surprised he's being skittish, but you know what? Better to avoid that defense line anyway. Go straight down the center. Maybe you'll see what Randy has, and Randy does not have a whole lot in the center. He has a Stardust, which will not last long. That will basically be a couple of volleys and then it's done. The Rock comes over are going to be a bit of a problem, and it looks like that's about... Actually, what if we Rock goes? Okay, Sniper, that's a better idea. The Sniper is going to basically be the issue for the Reapers. That's going to cause a lot of problems there. Nice use of the Hawks, though. Getting rid of all the Cranes, slowing down Randy's expansion attempts pretty heavily. Those were all of his workers, by the way. That was it. That's all he had for construction, other than his commander. Well, Clone, on the other hand, has lots of stuff. And now the battle is being joined. Reapers coming down along the center. Not too confident, but they are going to push it. And Rocco's... Well, okay, the Warrior's not doing too much. 
If they're moving, it's fine, but otherwise they're not. Raven's coming around, and they are going to kill off Clone's commander. Clone loses his commander. He'd only morphed to level one with a beam laser, so he hadn't actually done much with it. And these Ravens are getting heavily damaged in the process. Same time, the Reapers have been retreating. Not really getting into that combat, but a lot of Ravens died to kill off that commander. That was not a cheap win. And it wasn't even the big of a difference either. Clone is still ahead economically. Losing beam laser and a bit of build power is not the biggest deal. He already has quite a few welders around the map. He's got... Well, his economy is actually suddenly behind Clones. It's a matter of reclaim at this point, from the looks of it. But he has a lot of reclaim. He has his commander to reclaim. So, that's a fair amount that Clone can use to get back in the game. Now, Randy, on the other hand, he is getting a few more sharpshooters. He has three so far. He's getting another three. That will be problematic for Clone to deal with. Very much so, especially with all these Ravens coming up. Especially with the fact that these Swifts are coming in to deal with the Hawks. That is going to... Sound a lot like a... I'm talking about a sport, a couple of sports teams. I really... Not sure about those names anymore. Anyway. Randy is going to be taking a lot of damage over in the north. The Reaper's coming in. The snipers, or the sharpshooters, are not going to position. So some raiding can happen between defenders... Defender creep and Reapers just walking in. However, the sharpshooters are running out of energy. Randy's actually getting low on available energy. Clone can see exactly what's going on here. His Reaper's taking a fair amount of damage, but the Sharpshooters do not have cloaking. Or very rarely. It's intermittent cloaking at this point. I mean, the Reapers could probably just waltz right through, destroy all the Sharpshooters because of the energy problems. Although it looks like Randy has fixed that. He does have his energy working up again. He is getting a Fusion Reactor, by the way, so he is not going to have that problem. But it's going to be... Oh, what? Really? Okay, sorry, Sprang was pointing out something about decals fading as a graphical option. I'll look into that. Anyway, with with those snipers, that will make it difficult for... Obviously, make, obviously make it difficult for Clone to get through. Clone over going for the Phoenixes, and that's something he should have done a while ago, I think. And getting more pan getting Panthers as well. Okay, going backwards. Going back from Reapers to Panthers. I, I guess that that's a thing you can do. There's nothing saying you can't, but usually Panthers come first. I'm not quite sure exactly what... I guess he figured to kill the bombers that wouldn't really much on the ground. But yeah, the Panther's going to help out a lot for dealing with anything here. At the very least, going to tank shots on the sharpshooters, but really, they're going to be helpful just to get rid of a lot of stuff going on. And I... I apologize if my cast isn't working. My cast should be... I don't know if my... If my cast isn't working, I blame Twitch. I'm sorry. I've done everything I can to make casts work. But anyway, Clone is going to be setting up or looks like a pretty big push here. There are five sharpshooters. That will be able to get rid of one Reaper, but I think that's not going to do enough. I seriously doubt it's going to do enough. He is prepped for the Phoenixes. Actually, no, I guess we're at two Reapers. Not bad. And however, those Rockos are going down. The Phoenixes are just burning trees. That was not that could have gone better i gotta be honest that could have been a bit more efficiently done however because of the fact that randy does have the fusion plant he is not worried about cloaking potential he does however have a strider hub going for an ultimatum i've not seen that in a 1v1 before interesting normally you see dante's although dante's are actually more expensive but yeah we are seeing an ultimatum which kind of makes sense they do have big d gun attack they would be pretty useful against the reapers there at the same time Spider Factory coming in from Clone. Well, like I said, Clone does like building a lot of different factories once he gets up and running. Air, Spider. Probably going to go for Crab from the Spider Factory. Although, you know what, maybe not. Maybe he's figuring that the Heavy Tanks are dealing with his single strong units. Maybe he wants to go for a bunch of Fleas to distract. We'll see, though. It's... Spider Factory is nearly done. Randy is about a minute away from getting a detriment from... Sorry, Ultimatum for himself. And... Well, those Panthers are doing a good job. Harassing down the side, slowing down Randy's economy somewhat, but still, Clone and Randy have an even on economy for a while. And Phoenix is attacking for no reason. I really don't know. I think Clone was setting up those attack orders in advance and did not remember to change them. And these Panthers are, well, dealing with more and more of the economy. Randy at this point, even with Clone. In fact, his energy is ahead, but his metal is also slightly ahead. Okay. So never mind. Reclaim is 
evening that out, giving Randy a bit of an advantage. However, I'll see what's going. No, he's going for fleas. He's just going for getting a bunch of light units for scouting and I guess distraction, which makes a lot of sense given that Randy was building up for anti-heavy. Having a bunch of tiny units to distract everything coming in here will probably. Well, that's a nice screen for all these Reapers, allowing them to push through without getting damaged themselves. Especially against the Sharpshooters, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Although the Fleas are going the other direction. In fact, they're just going for a straight harassment. They are not going to distract the Sharpshooters, leaving the Reapers to take a lot of shots. That's damage that really could have been taken elsewhere. However, Phoenix is coming in, and that's going to be painful. That is a lot of fire here. Glaze running through, or Jethro's running through it. Gremlin's running through it. That's what they're called now. Try to get rid of it, but... Glaze were there as well. Everything going down over to the Reapers. Whole army is going down. Randy losing everything he's built up. I gotta lower the font here. So, Randy right now, 10.7 thousand to 13.5 thousand army value. Admittedly, Clone does have a lot of his army f invested into these Reapers, but still. That is a lot of army value difference. And the ultimatum... Did it get finished? I, don't, I think it did. There it is. The ultimatum is done. It's doing what it can to kill everything, and it's actually getting distracted pretty heavily by that flea. But that's exactly what Clone wants. He does not want to lose anything that ultimatum. He does not want to get hit by the D-Gun. Losing Reapers to that would be very cost-effective for Randy. But these fleas here, working as a pretty good distraction, and at the same time, he doesn't appear to be doing much, except he's building up. I mean, Clone, should bear in mind, is a very defensively-minded player. He is very defensively minded. He does not like to push forward if he doesn't know he's already won the game. So, I don't expect him to be pushing forward too heavily. However, Randy, on the other hand, is pushing forward and getting a lot of units set on fire by that Phoenix. Losing quite a few Roccos. And these Reapers continue to push back, just slowly pushing back, just slowing down Randy's push as much as possible, forcing him to invest a lot of money into it. I mean, as long as Clone keeps his units alive, it's not going to be a terrible thing, but the thing is, he is playing heavy tanks, which means he doesn't have the ability to spread out easily. He does have the fleas, he does have... thus some more harassment potential, and he does, of course, have the phoenixes, which are great for... That's really more of his defense line. The Reapers are really just slowing things down. But that ultimatum is in play, and it is getting rid of the Reapers. Randy is tearing apart all these Reapers very heavily, not to mention ripping apart the ground as well, just in the process of doing that, making it that much harder for the tanks to get around. So, Randy right now, this ultimatum is really doing him a lot of favors. I think it might be winning him the game at this point. It is getting hit by the Phoenix, and I think it's going to go down. I'm th not sure offhand, but it looks like it is going to be destroyed by that fire. No, nope, never mind. Still has 300 health left. It's... I don't really know how much this is going to work, though. I mean, Randy did just lose all the sharpshooters. Or possibly all but one at best. But Clone lost all of his Reapers. Every single one of his Reapers just went down. Panther's coming in as well, but he doesn't really have anything to deal with the ultimatum effectively. The ultimatum has gotten back to being cloaked. It is healing itself up as well. Getting rid of that's going to be probably moot at this point. I mean, Randy is just using the opportunity, well, to press forward. He's actually rebuilt, he's rebuilt a bit in the side of, well, in the back of his base, where he had built up before. Not really pushing forward too much, but still, Randy... Randy had an opportunity. He's trying to make some use of it. Switching over to Gremlins probably worried a lot about the Phoenixes. I think he might actually get... No, I think at this point, Clone is actually able to get back in. This ultimatum is still being a thorn on his side, but there's a lot of reclaim here, which Clone does have potentially for himself. The Fleas are tearing apart the Gremlins without issue. And Randy's investing all of his money into Gremlins. That is... Oh, man. That might actually work out for Clone, ultimately. I mean, that ultimatum is still in play. That ultimatum is actually not getting rid of this welder. The welder is rebuilding a metal extractor. No, that ultimatum is going to be going... It's going to get rid of the reaper, no doubt. And... Well, is it? Okay, now it's in range. Gets rid of the reaper. And looks like it's going to go for another assault. Same time, over to the north, we do have a lot of... Like I said, the fleas are tearing apart the gremlins without issue. Clone, his air force is not threatened, really. Randy has switched over to Glaives, and that's going to be a bit more effective, but even then, an ultimatum is actually going to, well, be threatened by Fleas, but the Glaives tear them apart, as Glaives are wont to do. Fleas do not stand up against Glaives at all. But Clone at this point, he's not really pushing to win. He's kind of 
Both players are kind of turtling up in this one position, but neither one... I mean, Randy's really pushing for it. Randy is trying to get through here. Clone is defending quite well. Getting rid of... Probably all these glaives, really. Quite a few of them, anyway. All but three. No, even more than that. They're running back to the fire and dying in the process. But... Randy is pushing so much money into that. While Clone is splitting his money between all of his factories. Between Fleas, Panthers, and more and more Phoenixes. I don't see how that's supposed to really work out for Clone. I mean, like, he doesn't have an economic advantage. But he's... I mean, the Glaives is going to get rid of the Fleas. The Ultimatum is going to get rid of the tanks that come in. The Gremlins are in place to get rid of the Phoenixes, but there's probably too many Phoenixes for it to matter. However, the Swifts here are going to get rid of the Phoenixes. They are going to do what they can, burning everything. Actually, getting... Wow, that's a lot of Glaives going down. That Air War is now starting to switch... I think it might be giving to Randy's favorite. No, Clone has way too many Hawks. That is not going to work out. Randy loses all of his Ravens, and... That ultimatum goes down in a nuclear explosion. Well, minor nuclear explosion. Still did a lot of damage. Got rid of Clone's entire Reaper army and really slowed down his push, honestly. But yeah, all those gremlins now gone. Clone is building up more and more Hawks, but even then, he's kind of lost air control. No real heavy anti-air that he can use that's not going to be burned out by those phoenixes. Reapers and Panthers pushing through. I think Clone probably not going to push through quite yet. Probably going to see what he can do just to keep harassing a bit, just to keep trying to get what damage he can. But I, I do see he's probably going to be going for an attack as soon as he gets the chance. As soon as it's worth doing. He has gotten rid of the Glaives inside his base. He does have everything in his base. And yeah, El Toro is pointing out that this south side could be attacked pretty effectively. Clone not going for that. Going instead for the north side where he has some control and really is actually... In, it's just nothing really to defend. There's this one Lotus. That's about it. The Fleas would have a hard time getting through, but in those numbers, it might actually have a chance. And Screamer being built up for Randy as well just to get rid of all those Phoenixes. Though it might be a bit tricky to do at this point. And there come the Fleas. Lotus doing what it can, and like I said, it is a bit of a problem for the Fleas. They aren't going to be able to get rid of the Lotus, but they are still able to do some harassment damage. But their cost may not have been the most worthwhile thing. But hey, it does keep Randy distracted. It does keep him in the back of his base. He's not... I don't know. He's not only building anything that's going to just outright win in the game. And Clone is just getting more and more units. He's getting the army he needs, and he doesn't really have much threat. And this one, Clone just scouting around and seeing what he can find. Probably going to go out and try to get rid of every little, every last air unit that Randy has built up. And down it goes at the same time. Panther's coming from the north while the Air Force is fighting out. And Clone just takes out Randy's Air Force. Clone taking out Randy's ground force. Panther's doing a great job getting rid of the Rockos. However, one of them starts going down. Once Panthers start going down, it's a little bit tricky. You can do the EMP explosion. It does make it difficult to work with mass Panthers once they start to take damage. But even then, on top of that... Phoenix is just tearing apart the economy to the north as the Air Force has been destroyed for Randy. And the Panthers coming back here to just rip apart this entire base, getting rid of his commander as well, or, or try to. He may not be successful, but the Reapers follow up in the center of the map and flees as well just for distraction, because why not? Panthers not even worried about the commander, and the commander just goes into the water to try to avoid them just in case. Just to be sure. But the Reapers tearing apart this base, and that's going to be game, I think. I think Clone has this. No, Clone has this. I don't even have to think about it. He has got this. This ultimatum is going to be a bit of a roadblock. But if Clone gets rid of the Strider Hub... Actually, everything around here. He's not going for it, though. That ultimatum is going to be built. It's not going to last long, but it is going to be built. And Randy jumping back up with his commander. But yeah, that ultimatum is done. Those Reapers do not have much time left. But admittedly, more units are forthcoming around the back. And really, the main... The base is out. The commander actually... Starting to get threatened quite a bit. But the ultimatum is able to get rid of the Reapers once again without issue. So, gets rid of the Reapers. Makes the area really hard to pass around for tanks. Slight defensiveness, but yeah, Randy has to run with his commander once again. Losing his main base to the Panthers. And the Phoenix is coming in for the kill. I think Clone is... I think this is it. These Phoenixes are coming in. The Screamer trying to do what it can, but it's not enough against this number of forces... And that is game, I'd say. And last Phoenix coming in. 
late to the party, ends up dying in the process, unfortunately, but... Yeah, the Clickbot Factory burning up, taking a lot of damage. And Randy throws in the towel, realizing he hasn't got much of a chance here. And that is game. So I'll be back in just a moment with another game. It'll be another... This, today is going to be clone games, so just to point that out, be clone and... Clone and Silencer, once again. Well, once again from Thursday. Clone and Silencer. I'll be back with that in just a moment. Stay tuned.